In the 1880s, the Louis Bank of Commerce building at 835 Fifth Avenue in San Diego's Gas Lamp Quarter was the home of the Oyster Bar Restaurant and was operated by Wyatt Earp of OK Corral fame. 100 years later, the same space had become Rogers on Fifth and was operated by former San Diego Mayor Roger Hedgecock. Roger commissioned local artist John Wismont to paint portraits of San Diegans past and present who had made and continue to make an impact on the city and its history. San Diegans from the worlds of politics, entertainment, business, sports, and philanthropy are portrayed on the walls. These are the stories of the mural. I got the idea that this old Wyatt Earp building is what it was. Uh, there, there, we're sitting in an area that was a saloon at one time that uh, Wyatt Earp had a, no, a number of other saloons here that he ran in the late 1880s. We're here on Fifth Avenue, not New York, but San Diego's Fifth Avenue, which was our frontier equivalent of cosmopolitan architecture. Yes, this is the Louis Bank of Commerce building. It's the most photographed building in the gas lamp, and many people think it's the most photographed building in all of San Diego. Originally, it was a uh, venture between a French Jewish immigrant named Isidore Louis and the California Bank of Commerce, who later became the Bank of Italy, who later became the Bank of America. Um, Isidore Louis had a upscale restaurant here, the Maison Dory, which is the one Wyatt used to frequent, and an oyster bar. And I remember we had the Wyatt Earp room, of course, over that, the kind of private dining room, and we had a picture of Wyatt Earp and his wife. Uh, and his wife's an interesting story, saloon girl, uh, out of uh, after the OK Corral, right, and all that. Right. He yeah. marries this gal, comes out here to San Diego to get out of the, you know, get away from the, the bad guys, because they were trying to hunt him down, you know, because he shot those people in the OK Corral. Right. Ed Earp was quite a figure in the gas lamp. He arrived here after the unfortunate incident at the OK Corral, and his brother was here and told him, you know, you need to come to San Diego. This is a wide open town. Wyatt was very good at making money. He opened several gambling saloons or gambling parlors, and uh, he was also quite a figure in this very place where we're standing. This is the Louis Bank of Commerce, but in Wyatt's time, this was the Maison Dory and an oyster house. He and his wife Josie loved coming here because they had ice cream. They were the only people in downtown San Diego that had ice cream. They got the ice from Lake Tahoe. He uh, stayed here till almost 1890. And his wife, Josephine, actually wrote a book. And in and, and his last years, he helped her to write a book, mm -hmm. which talked about the OK Corral, the West, the, the confrontations, the shootouts, and in a way that was then taken by the movies. And in fact, Wyatt Earp helped uh, uh, Tom Mix and some of the early cowboys to talk, you know, act like cowboys. And so he was an advisor to these oh, movies. And then after a while, everything we know about the West, you know, everything we know about, you know, High Noon uh, with, you know, all those famous movies, you know, uh -huh. John Ford with John Wayne out in the desert, everything we know about the West actually was filtered through this book and the experiences that Wyatt Earp had in the last years of his life as a movie advisor. He heard there was even more money to be made in the gold fields of uh, Alaska. And he told his wife, Josie, you should only stay someplace about four or five years. After that, it gets old. And that's the story from the mural of Wyatt Earp and his brief stay in San Diego in the 1880s.